to speak about a verse from Genesis 37. It would be the third verse. We shall read the verse in Hebrew and then in English, and then we shall discuss the relation between the Hebrew and the English and see what is hiding behind this verse. Or why the relation between Israel, comma, Jacob and Joseph were so special, or is so special, because it's a metaphor. So let's read. V'Yisrael ahavet Yosef mikol banav, ki ven zekunim hu lo, v'asa lo ketonet pasim. And Israel loved Joseph from all of his sons, because he is a son of an old age for him, and he made for him a coat of many colors. As we say in a former podcast, whenever we see the name Israel, it's not a nation state or political entity, it's, it's a code. Li Rosh, I have had Yisrael, the five letters, can also compose another. Those letters can compose and can appear in a different combination and create the term Li Rosh, I have had. So, Yisrael, I have et Yosef Mikol Banav. The question is that... This is really a good question to ask now. Why Israel? Why Li Rosh as a symbol? I have had love Joseph from all of his sons. Or who are the sons of the head? Because head, there's only one. And the sons, what is those which are coming from the head, are many. So what is the reason that Israel, Li Rosh, I have had, loved Joseph from all of his sons? Maybe they share the same quality? Or maybe love means to have quality in common? Let's look into the letters and please pay attention. Here in this verse, the father of Joseph is named Israel. But when former chapters, the Bible described the love of between his parents, the, the Joseph parents, the, the Bible says, Vayehav Yaakov et Rachel. And Jacob loved Rachel. So, as we said before, pay attention whenever we meet the name Israel or Yaakov. Those, those different images. There's a lot to say about it, but it's not the right moment because I want to make a progress today. Seemingly, the Bible gives a reason. Why Israel loved Joseph more or from all of his sons? Because it, he, he came to him in an old age. As we saw before, we spoke about it in other uh, articles and you saw cards on Facebook and so, that Joseph was the 11th son of Jacob. After him, there's only Benjamin, Benjamin. So the Bible says here, softly, he came to him in an old age, almost the last one. So he made for him a coat of many color, uh, or coat of many colors. But is it the real reason? Another lore explain the term Ben Zikunim, what is translated to English as 
the son that came to him in an old age, not in um, physical, material explanation, but in a different way. The word old in Hebrew is zakin. Zakin. And the word zakin is a notary con of the word ze zain kuf kana bought this bought wisdom. So what is the word zakin mean in Hebrew? Is a symbol for a person who bought wisdom. On paper, he can be very young, or she can be very young, but Zakin, an old man, so to speak, or a, a woman, because the Bible do not speak in terms of genders, is the one who bought wisdom. So through this lens, what does this verse mean? Why Israel loved Joseph more or from all of his sons? Because he is a son of an old age on the calendar? No. Because he had bought wisdom, Ben Zikunim, who lo. He is the son of wisdom. He has a similar wisdom like the Father, like the Heavenly Father. So, Israel loved love Joseph because they share the same quality. They share the old, so to speak. They share the wisdom. This is why he made for him the coat of many colors. Because wisdom knows Every person, every creature had to have his own expression. You, you don't abort somebody because you think your will is stronger and you, you should have your interest have, has to come, that your interest has to come first. Unlike the other sons of Jacob who each one wants to Uh, accomplish his interest. Joseph, Joseph is not like it. He doesn't have interests. He's 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 a dreamer, and the expression, the dressing, coat a coat is a dressing is a dressing of how we dress in this life is a coat of many colors. Joseph can contain opposites and differences. He understand that everyone should have an expression. He doesn't abort somebody because he's different. And those different colors are expression of different entities and different wills and different dimensions in this life. This is why Joseph, he is the... I would not say a symbol, but Joseph uh, symbolizes the aspect of the many, that the many can live together. And since he, he bought this wisdom of the Father, he can also go to Egypt. But before, before we speak about this element, let us look into the letters of their names. Here in this verse, we find the name Israel. After they came, uh, the family came from Jacob's father-in-law, Laban, which is located around Syria of today. They come back to the land. Here the Bible uses the name Israel. But when Joseph was born, he was still Jacob before they cross the river Yabok, the river Yabok on the way to the land, the father of Joseph is Jacob. Let's look into the letters of the name Jacob. And now, please remember, this is a symbol. So let's look into the symbol. Yaakov 
we write in four letters. Yod, Ain, Kof, Bet. The numeral value of this name is 182. For Yod is 10, Ain is 70, Kof is 100, and Bet is 2. So, together, 182. Now, let's look into the name Joseph. The name Joseph is written in four letters. Yod, Vav, Samech, Fesofit. Yod is 10, Vav is 6, Samech is 60, and Fe, Sofit, in this manner, is 80, so together is 100. And 56. Now, if we take the numeral value of the name Jacob, Yaakov, and we deduct from it the numeral value of the name of Joseph, which is 156, we get the sum of 26. This is a very interesting um, number, 26, because as we, we have shown in the former videos, the 26 is the tetragrammaton, meaning 26 is the sum of the four letters of the name. Yod, He, Vav, He, because Yod is 10, he is 5, together is 15, plus vav is 21, plus he is 26. So, in a way, the fact that the difference between the two names, the gap, so to speak, the difference is Aleph, the Aleph is not, does not come here as a gap, but as a unity. They both have relation. The relation between them is the Aleph, is the Tetragrammaton, is the name of God with love and mercy and no judgment at all. And this is the reason that Israel, and this is a, in a way the the Bible has its own beautiful way to portray a picture. They don't say, and Jacob loved Joseph from all of his son, the Israel. Lirosh, the head, likes that the son, Joseph, behaves like the name, like the one, like the Tetragrammaton. He can have mercy for everyone. He is, in a way, the one. This is, this is a very interesting dispute. Because later on in the Bible, when all the, the other brothers, they, they take their herds and they, they take them to the meadows next to the city of Shechem, Joseph is still with the father <coughs> in the city of Hebron, <coughs> in the valley, in the valley of Hebron. Because Hebron is in the mountain, but the Bible says, and he sent him from the valley of Hebron. And Rashi says, but how can it be that he, the father sent his son from the valley of Hebron because Hebron is in the mountain? And then Rashi says, this is not geographical description of the <coughs> city of Hebron. Emek is not just a valley in English. Emek is also, in Hebrew, omek, depth. So when the father sends Joseph from Emek Hebron, it's not from the valley geographical of Hebron, because Hebron is in the mountain. The father sent Joseph from the depth of connection. Emek, amok, amok, <clears throat> is deep. 
עמק חברון. חברון is not just a geographical city, the letters חברון are connection, לחבור, to connect, from the deepest connection between father and son. ישראל and Joseph, יעקב and Joseph, from the Aleph, from the Tetragrammaton. From this unity, he sent him to see the peace of his brothers. And, and there is this, Ha'ari uh, says this, Rabbi Yitzchak Luria, ask why did he send the father, Jacob, send Joseph alone without escort to see his brothers next to Shechem when he knows, the father knows that the brothers hate him and they, want to, they wanted to kill him. Why does he send him? That, why does he send the son alone without escorties when he knows that the other brothers are hating him? How could he do such a thing? And in a way, the answer is in the secret. The father, Jacob, knew that his son is never alone. He doesn't need escorters. This is why, in a way, it was written that he can go to Egypt. He can survive in Egypt in the multiplicity because he is not alone. He is always with the one. Even in the jail, in the darkest spots there, he was with the one. So, <clears throat> I hope that this conversation was useful and we have learned from it a little aspect of how the Bible works. So, I wish you all the best and see you or hear from you in the next, in the next podcasts.